Yeah, so get to Miami. And Tiff, who's six months pregnant and has a, a almost two year old, right, um, has to pack up our entire house and move. So like, luckily we had some people in the church that came and helped her. But like, she packed up an entire house, shipped it over, shipped a car, did all that. Whereas like now I'm like deep into the playbook, trying to understand because I'm starting on Sunday. Sunday, right? And so yeah, man, learned that. And uh, so I get there five weeks into the season. Uh, we're playing a Monday night game, and uh, and had a bunch of defensive guys go down. Um, and on Tuesday, which for those of you guys that know, so there's a cutoff line on Tuesday at, at 4 p.m. Eastern time that all wires have to be in by 4 o'clock mm-hmm. or you are active on that week or you count towards the roster that week. Right. So late night, Monday night, coming in from New Orleans, um, in the weight room at like 3.45, finishing up a workout, and we had late late meetings that night, and the Reaper comes oh. in. Mm. Right, and the Reaper comes in, and he's like, "Hey, uh, Brad wants to see you upstairs." I was like, All right, "Cool, like I got two more sets, I'm almost done." And uh, and I played well. You're on the point. bench. Yeah. You're benching right now. You're in the weight room benching. Oh, literally on my back <laughs> benching. And he's like, "Hey, Brad wants to see you upstairs." I'm on my back, like not even just like walking around. I'm on my back. He goes, "Hey, Brad wants to see you right now." And I was like, "All right, cool." And he's like, "No, no, no." Brad now. being the GM, the GM, Brad Ireland. Yeah. And so uh, I was like. You knew this, something was this up. Isn't, this isn't good. So I kind of like take my time, and I look, and I'm like, these these dudes, yeah, you can like cold-blooded. Yeah. Cold-blooded, right? And so I go in, and um, I like kind of change, get out of my sweaty shirt, and I, I walk up to Brad's office, and he's like looking at the clock, and he's like, hey, man, I really hate to do this, and this is you played well for us. You did really good, but <laughs> we got a bunch of defense guys go down, and like I'm like, dude is trying to get this out before the or, clock. Absolutely. He's trying to beat the time. And I'm like, just so they don't have to pay me. Pay me for that week. Exactly. And I'm like, all right, dude. Yes, you know hey, what? We'd love for you to stay. We don't want you to stay because we'll sign you back. This is the business of the NFL. Yeah. That's the true business of the NFL. And, and we always talk about loyalty, loyalty to the team. And the fans are always hating on players. For Jeff, being, not- yeah. I mean, and, and this is this is the truth, man. This is like behind the curtain stuff. Yeah. I mean, they're, they don't want to pay you for this week, so they're trying to cut you right now to get you out of the building. 